the doctor's office. But after six months, seven months of going here, you know, I've not seen any problems, any issues, but, you know, you see this on the news all the time, and when you see news and police, you automatically think, what the hell's going on in the back room? What is he doing wrong? I can tell you that these two facilities, the one here and the one on Wilco Way, are probably the worst in the state right now, maybe in the country, to the point where Dr. Jumani, in a quarter, has prescribed over half a million oxycodone pills. If you take all the states in the country and combine the amount of pills that have been prescribed, does not meet what Florida has. And that's why we're so dedicated right now. You see FHP, Department of Health, FDLE, MBI, we're all working together. And in all the other regions in, in the state, Central Florida, that's our priority. We will spare no expense. We will work together with that many. We have all the resources we need right now. It's that much of a priority. When you go to your doctor's office, do you have people lined up around the building every day before, you know, after a lunch break or in the morning? You don't see that at, at legitimate places. So what do you say? So is the allegation it's a, it's that it's a bad practice, and that's why we're here. We're gonna we're gonna put somebody in jail eventually.